Watch out guys, 100 horsepower Banshee, here we come. Welcome back, Stupid Fast Nation. How are you guys doing today? By popular request, we will be getting to work on the Banshee a little bit more today. Um, unfortunately, I did find an issue with one of the head studs when I was installing it. Uh, one of them actually pulled out. I went to torque it down to the 20 foot pounds and it actually pulled out. So let me show you that real quick. Now, if you look here, you'll see I did try to torque this one down. Um, I know it has a regular nut on it, but I did have the cap nut on it, but literally this thing just pulled right out. Uh, I'm going to go over a few different ways that we can actually, uh, fix this, but no matter what, we have to take the cylinder head off, which kind of sucks being that it's all put together and everything now, but that's okay. We're going to take it apart. We're going to fix this and then we'll do some other things on it. And that's pretty much going to be the video today. Also, I don't know who else is local who watches my videos. I will have the notch back at the Motorama event in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania this weekend, which is February 16th and 17th, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so the turbo notch back will be there. I do have it loaded up on the trailer, ready to go today. Uh, some footage for that coming up soon. We're going to build a thousand wheel horsepower motor for that. And uh, I got a lot of work coming ahead for that car. So keep an eye out for that as well. Also, if you guys haven't already, check out my Instagram. It's uh, Stupid Fast John. I post all kinds of stuff on there. I have all kinds of different people on my Instagram. Um, it's just another means of seeing what's going on with the channel in between video to video. Also, if you guys have a project you want me to post up on my Instagram or something like that and give you a shout out, just send me a, a message, description, anything like that that you want me to put in the description and I will add that to my Instagram story. And by projects, I mean like cars, turbo cars, engines, anything of that nature relevant to this channel and its content, you know, I, it doesn't matter to me what it is, as long as it's high horsepower or even semi high horsepower. Uh, I'll be more than happy to post it on my Instagram. So go ahead, hop over, check out my Instagram as well. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, guys, let's go over a few traditional methods we could possibly use to not only extract, but fix the destroyed head stud threads. So first and foremost, the best traditional method that you could probably possibly do is to literally pull the cylinder off and have the hole itself welded and then re-drilled and re-tapped. Now to do that, you'd have to literally take the whole thing off, take it to a machine shop, you know, they got to weld aluminum with a TIG torch or a spool gun or something like that, and then drill it and retap it. But since my cylinders are already re and I don't want to have the top of the cylinders decked again because it's all fresh, what I'm going to do is drill it and tap it and put a helicoil in place, which they're made out of stainless steel, so they're just as strong. But that's another method you could use. Or if you wanted to do like the hillbilly method, you could stick some JB Weld in the hole, drill it and tap it, which I actually know people who have done that and had great results. But I want something a little stronger because we're gonna be making some serious power. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and get the head off and then we'll work on drilling and tapping and I'll show the whole entire process from start to finish and uh, torque it down and everything else like that too, so. All right guys, so let's get started removing this head. Okay guys, now that we got the head off, we can take a closer look at the head stud and how it pulled out. 
Now if you look there, you'll see some aluminum shavings all over the place in there, and you can see the threads are pretty messed up. So what I'm going to do now is drill this out with a 21 64th drill bit. Before I do that, I'm going to cover all of this up with an old t-shirt so the metal shavings don't go inside the engine or anything like that. Um, and then I have the helicoil uh, tap and bit to go inside of this to turn this back into a 8 by 1.25 thread pitch. And then we can screw the stud back in. So let's get started. Right, guys and there you have it that hole's nice and clean in there I know you can't really see in there because of the shadow but uh, that goes down as far as the stud has to go down so now we're gonna tap this for the helicoil thread and stick that in next And that's it guys she's solid now we can put the head back on and uh, get this sucker torque back down that pretty much wraps up the progress on the Banshee for today. I just wanted to show you what was pretty much going on with this. A couple little things to talk about real quick before we get into that nice little cinematic. Alright guys, so we fixed the head stud. I got the uh, bracket to hold the clutch lever on as well as the cable behind the carburetor there. Although I won't be um, putting the cable on yet, I'm going to get a nice stainless steel braided one for that. Also, I got the stator nut off of my spare motor from over there. And, um, which I'll actually be posting that one up on Craigslist tonight, but I got the stator, my adjustable timing plate and uh, all of that stuff off the other Banshee motor to transfer over to this one. Now, I don't think I'm ready to put this on yet though. Um, if you look here, you'll see the, uh, pickup coil is pretty rough looking. So I don't think I'm going to put this one on the next quad and, um, I definitely want to clean the stator up or the flywheel and um then we'll get all that stuff on so all right guys enjoy this nice little cinematic put together by my new gopro 7. do you remember how you held me then now you got me reaching out Got me falling in more times than I can get out. I, I, I. Down in the deep of my mind, I call for you and you're always inside. Down in the deep of my mind, how long do I go to keep? So, watch out for the next video. We'll be doing a leak down test, compression test, making sure this motor's all sealed up before we go ahead and fire it up for the first time. We did order the rest of the stuff to get this thing put together. So in another week or so, we should be ready to slap the rest of it together and test fire. As always guys, if you enjoy the content, like, share, and subscribe. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. Dying to know what you guys think of the progress so far. Until next time guys, thanks for watching. To keep you, to keep you